and welcome in. I'm the coach, and you're watching Madden Ultimate Team. We've been waiting for this one all week, and the wait is now over. It's time to play ball. set to put his foot into this one and here we go we're underway in Madden ultimate team fielded just outside the goal line and he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. here comes the Kansas City offense and in his sixth season of conducting this high-powered attack coming off four straight Pro Bowls it's Patrick Mahomes Right to the air is Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. On first down, Mahomes. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one goes for 24 yards. So now first and 10 as they crossed into Miami territory at the 48-yard line. Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the U. Jones hit, and the ball's out. And the Dolphins have got it. Well, he's going to have to shake out the cobwebs first time he touches the football and he drops it on the ground. So many times we talked about quarterbacks and taking care of them early to get them in the flow with safe throws, right? But with a runner, there is no such thing as a safe run, right? <laughs> right out of the gate, you're going to be admit, you're going to be in some traffic. Got to take care of the ball, and he didn't do that. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten at their own 42. What are you hitting? It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And some room to maneuver. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. A big play there. 58 yards. And the Dolphins use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Well, that's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning ball's turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? One side handled it way better. They went right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play, that just added insult to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go, still reeling the fact that the ball got turned over. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now a 7 nothing game. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper. Into the end zone for the touchdown. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. The Kansas City offense and Ronald Jones heading back out now. He's got to clear his mind a little bit right now. One carry, and that carry was a lost fumble. Clear his mind, clear his hands, and, miss, and just let this one go. Sometimes it happens. You drop the ball, get a full game ahead of him, hand it to him again, see if they can start to produce. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. A pass complete downfield. It's Valdez Scantling. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL, but just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Go! 
play action. Now it's Mahomes. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. One of the league's best linebackers. He ended that play almost before it began, and the running back absolutely overmatched no matter what he tried to do. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Here's Mahomes to throw. Oh, he's trying for Smith Schuster, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to take over once again at their own 37 yard line. But when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback, you have a much better opportunity. So Miami coming out for their second drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Second down, and back they go to Sanders. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Now Sanders. Room here to run. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Brady. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game. And he's going to pull his way into the end zone for the Dolphins score. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Dolphins go up by two touchdowns. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. McPherson on for the point after. And it's good to make it 14-0. Five plays there on that drive. And Barry Sanders the one to finish it off as he does so with a touchdown run. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. And now here comes Kansas City. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now, they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. 
Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes, open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Mahomes now on first down. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. And again, it's Mahomes. His throw incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him. Don't think. And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. Already up two touchdowns. How about that drive killer of a sack there to add to their good play? This offense coming away with no points now when some kind of score was desperately needed. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Six yards on the boot. The coverage holds him to just three on the return. And it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins taking over now late in this first half. And with a 14-0 lead, they may just try to get this to the locker room. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. 102 yards rushing for him now to this point. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Fielded just outside the goal line and able to get this out to the 25. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it. And in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Throwing now is Brady. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 21 yards. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Brady. Trying to get it to Chase, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. And what a return as he brings this all the way back down to the 20-yard line. They'll try and get the running game going with Jones. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. 
And they're going to get this down inside the 15. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Work out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You're talking about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. Butker's kick here is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to 3. So kind of disappointing there. I mean, yes, they get the three, but with starting field position like that, three's not what you're banking on. No, and you just have to wonder if you can afford to let chances like that continue to pass you by. You've got to find ways to get the ball into the end zone and put sixes on the scoreboard. Now comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing to battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Snap comes at one, and it's Brady. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They're going to look to throw. Gets this one to use check. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. It's Dolphin football. It's also Dolphin lead to begin quarter number four. Brady now on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A good pick up there, 21 yards. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomped down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Brady to throw again. Touchdown, Dolphins! Travis Kelsey from 21 yards away. And the Dolphins have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. It seemed like they were so focused elsewhere they forgot about the tight end spot, and he's the one that burns him there to make this a three-score game here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. I think there might be a little bit of defensive fatigue from those guys on that side of the ball, partner, because they've been spending their time trying to stop them from all angles. This time, the tight end gets them. McPherson now for the extra point. 
ahead, it's 21 to three. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Take it in at the three. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Second down at five. Throwing now is Mahomes. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now it's Mahomes again. This one complete into the hands of Doris Fountain. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. And that will be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. They'll run it with Jones. And boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short, and he didn't get there. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Dolphins get the football in great field position. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. The Dolphins' offense now working their way back onto the field. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. Up the middle they go with Sanders. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Another run with Sanders. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go do the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Brady going to look to throw. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Now Brady. Got a man. It's Johnson. End zone. Touchdown, Miami. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins are in for six. And this win now going to look a little more lopsided on the scoreboard, CD. A 
some may have run out the clock in that scenario, but they wanted to put their foot on the gas, get one more touchdown, and they did just that. Well, Parker, I would say the traditional is not overly excited about that score. They'd like to see the game played a little bit differently. But what you can't argue with is their execution of that play because it played out exactly as it was drawn up. It almost would have been a shame not to finish with such a well-run play. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And they open the lead up now to 25. Just a four-play drive that time. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. Now a hit and a loose football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And they're already in the red zone. The 18-yard line is where they take over. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Brady now to throw. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Nick Bolton. And the Chiefs are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. Now they get a fourth quarter pick. A little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That's a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other. But it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points, that lone field goal, in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them in just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished.